to welcome you to the April 8, 2021 Board of Public Works and Safety meeting. Uh, roll call, please. Here. Here. Are there any conflict of interest statements? No, sir. No. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of March 18, 2021. Uh, I recommend we defer those minutes. And I'll concur. Item number five, correspondence. Correspondence received from First District Councilman Mark Kalwinski requesting $17,767.45 of gaming funds be allocated to balance out the 2020 sidewalk repair program. The green sheet has been signed by the city controller and a councilman as well as the mayor. Okay, I recommend that we approve Councilman Kalwinski's request. And I concur. Item B, correspondence received from Gary Material Supply advising the northbound lane of Cal on Calumet Avenue, north of 141st Street, will be closed beginning April 7th, 2021, for approximately two weeks. Good morning to the board. Good morning. Uh, yeah, this is just a matter of record. Uh, it is the US 41 Calumet Avenue State Highway. So it's just for our notification. It's the right hand northbound lane. And they are? They are working on uh, on uni the Unifirst project right. to, uh, to do the concrete work and the approach work that happens along the highway, right? And some utility work in there. Sorry, thank you. Okay, I recommend we approve Gary Material Supplies request. And I'll concur. Item C, correspondence received from Chief of Police William A. Short requesting approval of Departmental Order 21-02, returning weapons to identified owners and Departmental Order 2103, personal appearance and tattoos, request from the Hammond Hermits to hold a parade Saturday, April 24th, 2021 inclement weather date of Saturday, May 1st, 2021, and disposal authorizations. Danny, you go with those dates for that parade? You were. Okay. Just get kind of good. Yeah, oh, get sorry. Kind of yeah. Okay, I'm gonna recommend that we uh, uh, they were kind of on the back there. I don't know if they got attached to it. Yeah, they probably did. Uh, I'm going to recommend we approve Chief Short's request and also the disposal authorizations. And I'll concur. The um, no dumping sign for Councilman Tyler. I don't see that on the agenda. I got it here. Go ahead and go ahead and talk. Okay. 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 That's item C. All right. This is going to be item C dash one. Um, it's a request uh, from Councilman Tyler requesting a no dumping sign at 607 Thornton and it is uh, approved to uh, place the sign per the Director of Public Works, Gary Gleason, 607 Thornton. Okay, I'll make a recommendation to approve uh, Councilman Tyler's request. And I'll concur. That's a parade, that's a parade, okay. Item D. Correspondence received from A. Taylor regarding property located at 4749 Baltimore Avenue. Uh, Mr. President, good morning. Uh, these, uh, both D and I think E are uh, cor similar correspondence in that area. Uh, Mr. Kearney is aware of both letters. The inspections department is looking into the complaint by the author of those letters. Um, you know, there's some there's some issues I I think that we would take with the letters in general, but as far as the complaints concerned uh, or about the properties, of course, we'll look into those. Yeah. So. So um, 
You're going to just refer those to ins refer them both to inspections. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You got it. Okay. I will uh, recommend that we forward uh, items D and E to inspections for their review. And I'll concur. Item F, correspondence received from C. Lee Construction Services requesting permission to place a dumpster box at 4532 Holman Avenue, as well as a construction ahead sign 300 feet <coughs> north of the site to perform demolition of the building for NICTD. Nick Lee. Mr. Bordish. Hey, good morning. This is actually, Lee Construction has been doing a lot of demos, and this is just another one for South Shore. You want to put the dumpster box, they're going to have it fenced in. It, demolition should take approximately 10 days. The dumpster's off the street, right? Yes. Off the property? It's off the street. Okay. And it's going to be fenced in for safety factors. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll uh, make a recommendation. We approve uh, C. Lee Construction Services request. And I'll concur. Uh, item G, correspondence received requesting a rental registration hearing. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. I'll make a recommendation that we uh, set that hearing for April 22nd, 2021. I'll concur with that. Item six, matters from board members. No, sir. Okay. Nothing, nothing here. <coughs> Item seven, matters from other department heads or their representatives. Anyone? No. Okay. Moving on to new business. Item A, bid opening 2021 Hammond Sidewalk Program. First bidding from J and J Newell Concrete Contractors, Calumet City, Illinois. Okay. Have the bid bond. And bid proposal. The non collusion affidavit and the bid is $473,802. $473,802, JJ Newell. Thank you. Second bid is from Gary of Construction, Gary Indiana. Six, public form, public work form ninety six, and non collusion affidavit. Their bid price is six hundred and sixty seven thousand four hundred and five dollars. <throat> that is for Gary of Construction. <laughs> are the two bids. Okay, I will make a recommendation to Forward East Engineering for their review and, uh, and um, request. And I'll concur. So there was just two bids then, is that correct? Two yes, ma'am. That's correct.
Okay, item B, under uh, new business. Right of way permit submitted for approval by the engineering department. We've got the okay and the thumbs up from the engineering department. Okay, okay. I'll make a recommendation to approve the right of way permits. And I'll concur. All right. Item C, request to work in the right of way in various locations in the city received from NIPSCO. I just want to comment on this one. NIPSCO has a pro well, a massive project throughout the city. This is the northerly section of they are uh, rehabbing their infrastructure, uh, transformers, so forth, everything else. So they're gonna be replacing poles, removing poles. So this is just to upgrade the system. They have another project here in this area, but this is, there's three different segments of this one, but there's gonna be many more forthcoming to improve the service. So if there's gonna be any type of road closure, they're gonna let us know this, right? I, my understanding, no road closures. Normally, according to them, it takes an hour to two, three hours. They set the pole, remove the pole, while they're transferring the stuff over and putting the new equipment on. Okay. And if there is a lane closure or something of that sort, they are gonna have uh, uh, traffic control. All right. So, okay. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Okay, I will recommend we approve NIPSCO's request. And I'll concur. Item D rental, reg rental registration hearings on property located at 7039 Missouri Avenue, 4422 Clark Avenue, 4435 Henry Avenue, 5632 Beale Avenue. 1042 Becker Street, 6137 Garfield Avenue, and 426 Lewis Street. Mr. Farrell. Good morning, how are you today? All right, uh, the first property we have is uh, 7039 Missouri, uh, Mr. Benjamin Kistner. Seeing as the owner uh, fails to appear, I would request that the board uh, deny the appeal of the lay fee, lay fee. What are the particulars for just 2020? Yes, it's for 2020. The property address is 7039 Missouri, which is half of a duplex. Um, the individual also owns two other properties in the city, um, one at 7047 Montana, 3506 170th Court. Uh, both are duplexes as well. Um, there are multiple addresses of his residency in Highland, Illinois, all the way to a California address as well. Um, which was noted on a previous rental registration, but the owner's aware um, of the registration policies as he's registered other properties before. So, what about 2021? Um, I believe we that we haven't got to that point yet. Typically, if they come, yeah, April okay. 15th That's is the deadline point. for it. But if they if they come in to attempt to register for 2021 right oh. now, well, well, we'll allow them to register for 21 if they fill out the appeal form to take care of the previous years which are owed. Um, so so it's one unit though correct correct okay okay you good? Mm -hmm. okay then i'm going to make a recommendation that we apply the late fee for 7039 missouri avenue for 20 for the year of 2020. and i'll concur thank you thank you the next property is uh 4422 clark avenue miss uh Pinete is here so I met with her uh, prior to the meeting um, and explained that, um, you know, we do have a recommendation to waive the late fees due to uh, some uh, the, the issues with COVID that have affected everybody this year. Uh, she has read and agreed to uh, the recommendation. If you'd like to hear from her, she can come up. This is for 2020 for one unit? 2020 for two units. You're in a, you're We'll make a recommendation that we uh, approve the agreement with the city and the homeowner. And I'll concur. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So the next property address that we have up is 4435 Henry Avenue. Uh, Mr. Otana, he is here today. Um, and again, I met with him. Uh, the property has been registered on time previously. Um, you know, he's indicated the effects that code has had on him this 
previous year attempting to come in uh, to pay with the city being closed. So um, the recommendation was offered and uh, he did accept. Uh, so the property is a single family home and um, only owed for 2020. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, I will make a recommendation to approve the agreement with the homeowner in the city. Okay, then the last property it looks like we have set for today, um, the same owner for these four properties, uh, Mr. Martinez, who is here. Um, he's the owner of 5632 Beal, 1042 Becker, 6137 Garfield, and 426 Lewis. Um, all four of the properties are single family homes and um, he had missed uh, the rental registration for 2020. The only previous time that he was in front of the board was in 2014 at which point he did take care of, uh, of that. So um, again, I did offer the uh, recommendation to waive the lay fees to uh, Mr. Martinez, which he has uh, read, signed and accepted. Uh, he is here today if you'd like to come up. Favor of this agreement, sir? Yes, sir. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, I will uh, then make a recommendation to approve the agreement with the homeowner in the city for the four addresses. I concur. It should do it for the rental registration hearings for today. And it does. Thank you. Can we slow down a little bit? No, we're good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, item nine, old business. I see none. Meeting's open to the public. Anyone here care to speak? Any, anyone? No? Okay. Okay. I will then make a recommendation to uh, adjourn the meeting. And I will concur with that. Thank you. And those with rental registrations, if you just give us a minute, uh, we'll get you your paperwork and you can be on your way. <laughs> 